Marhaba, assalamu alaikum and hello everyone, this is Rashid the Arab Gamer, I'm here at the VGS office and we finally got our hands on the Ouya. 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 Now just to let you guys know, this is the retail uh, copy, it's very light. Now the difference between the retail copy and the backer copy is from what I heard, uh, the backer version is the one that you know people backed it up on Kickstarter, they got their copy early. Uh, from what I heard is that the difference with this one is that it got some refined improvements on the controller. It feels less cheap. Uh, the console also got a little bit of a nice touch, I suppose. I'm not really sure, but these are the things I heard online and I read in the forums. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, so here's the box, just to give you guys a bit of a look at it on controller. So here's the front, free the games. Okay, so I guess it has different um, slogans. It's very nice, ooh yeah, front. And in typical game console box fashion, they show you the games on the back. So here they're highlighting some of the games and the features. So here's the menu, this is how it's gonna look like. Final Fantasy III, um, I believe this is the Android version upscaled for the OUYA. And another game, which I'm not really quite familiar with, Chronicle, what's that? Aid, I guess. So yeah, typical, you know, this is what you're gonna get with the box. Little, little box inside this box has big dreams. Oh, okay, so let's find that. Now, you slip it out like this. Okay, ah. And so begins the revolution. Yes, because this is a crowd, uh, crowd-funded console. So whoever pitched in the money, you know, kind of made this console a reality, which is a big deal. So it's a revolution. Let's take a look at the controller. Here it is, the Ouya controller. It's a nice little Ouya right there. The D-pad feels similar to, I believe, the Xbox. 60 is the on button. Triggers feel interesting. Pretty cool. Ah, nice click to them. I like the clicky. The analog sticks feel really good. They feel nice. It doesn't feel cheap to me so far. Buttons feel good too. I mean, hey, it's no PS4 controller, but it's pretty damn good shaped in ooh yeah, so that's a nice touch too. And I believe this is the receiver, nice. So that's the controller. And here it is, the ooh yeah game console. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's very small, smallest game console I've ever seen. I thought the GameCube was small, but damn. Really nice touch. It's venting, I believe. So you got an HDMI port, and it's a USB Ethernet power. All the things you need, basically. Nice. Now that's the game console, but there's still more. Ah, batteries. Okay, Duracell batteries. So here are some Duracell batteries for, I believe, the controller. Power adapter. This first. Okay. HDMI cable. Typical HDMI cable. Power adapter to run your to run the system. Uh, very simple, easy to use, plug and play kind of thing. And here is, I believe, the manual, which no one will ever read. Getting started. Power up. No way. Okay. Love the logo. It's kind of like a smile. It's a really nice touch. Okay. And what else? Cardboard. Oops. Okay. So, yeah, more cardboard. I guess just to protect the console and its stuff. So there you have it, Uyo Game Console Unboxing, the retail version. Thank you for watching the unboxing of the Uyo Game Console. Since we just got our hands on it, we're going to be doing a lot of testing, you know, trying out games and apps. 
Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Are you now interested? Would you be buying an Ouya? Do you really think that it's a revolution? Or do you really think it's just going to be like a little fad that's going to die out soon? Let me know and don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, follow. This is the Arab Gamer, gaming from the Arab world. Ya yeah, Aziz.